Recently, I worked with a woman who had been married for 30 years in a very dysfunctional relationship. And when she came in, she said, I'm really trying to decide what to do. When I say very dysfunctional, I mean off the charts dysfunction, cheating, addiction, the whole nine yards. And she had stayed for over 30 years. And she said, I'm not really sure what to do because I really love him. And then we got into this amazing discussion. And what do you think that I advised? I'll tell you in a second. Hey, if these are David Essel's Daily Video Boosts, welcome aboard. If you aren't a subscriber yet to this free video service, go to talkdavid.com right now. Talkdavid.com. Sign up for David Essel's Daily Video Boost. It's no charge. And Monday through Friday, you'll get a three-minute video like this on a variety of topics regarding to personal growth so you can move ahead in life, okay? And always take notes. Don't trust your brain. So what did she mean she loved this man more than anyone when she said that he had abused her for 30 years and was uh, an absolute ass to her for that long period of time? Why would we say, I love this man so much? Why, if you were abused that long, physically, emotionally, and more, would you even consider staying? And the answer is going to surprise a lot of people. But if our perception of love, if we were raised in an environment where we saw mom and dad act in crazy ways and mom put up with a bunch of crap that dad gave or dad put up with a bunch of crap that mom, get, mom gave, that gets tucked into the subconscious. And believe it or not, the subconscious starts to feed us data that this is what love is. This emotional abuse or physical abuse or addiction, yeah, we just sort of stay because, you know, I'm committed to this person. I love this person. I Could you love someone who abused you for 30 or 40 years? The answer is yeah, but it's an extremely unhealthy level of love. In our number one best-selling book, Focus, Slay Your Goals, which is available in print, Kindle, or audio, we go into the whole description of the love scale 1 to 10. I highly recommend that you grab the book because it goes into a lot more detail than I'm going to go into right now. Grab the book, Focus, Slay Your Goals, and read the chapter, read the whole book, but read the chapter on love. The, where we talk about the love scale 1 to 10. And what I explained to her is that, yeah, she loved him, but it was a dysfunctional form of love. On the love scale from 1 to 10, 1 through 4 is complete dysfunction. And where did she fit in? She was extremely codependent. She was afraid to be on her own, afraid to rock the boat, afraid to push back, and actually put some teeth into consequences for his emotional, physical abuse, and his addiction. So over the years, she became a shell of who she was. And until she shatters that and understands, yeah, you can love someone who abuses you, but it's a dysfunctional form of love. Until we really get that into the brain, we'll just stay and stay and stay, or We'll move on to the next person to do the same thing. If you need help with love in your relationships, email me directly at talkdavid.com. Let's go over this. It's tough. It's confusing. It's very difficult to change. But the great news, you can change. I'm David Essel. Have a great day.